So enough of that, and uh, let's just save that as a view. So this is our pinhole camera, and the way that this works is we've got an adaptive component. Let me go back to an inverted view, it's a little easier to see. Da -da 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 -da. So we've got this adaptive component here, and it's two picker, one, two. And what we do is we've got our base geometry here that we're looking at, which is up here. And I'm connecting my adaptive component to a target point and then two points along the edge of this thing. So let's make this thing from scratch. Let's see, we've got going to do a new mass. And I'm going to make myself a couple of new layers, just to or new levels. And I'm going to make myself some sort of arbitrary shape that I'm going to reproduce through my pinhole camera. And let's do reference lines for or a spline by points. And I'm just going to make a little peanut shape here. There it is. And I'm going to imagine a pinhole camera kind of aperture that is going to be sort of the fulcrum for which this thing is going to invert. So basically I want to act as though I'm taking a picture or a magnification even of this shape. It's going to pass through this point like it's going into a pinhole camera and then be projected down onto this surface down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a new family, new adaptive component, and I'm going to make it a two-point family. And one is going to be representing the starting shape, and the other is going to basically be that fulcrum point or that pinhole camera area. And just so I can imagine it a little bit better, I'm going to drag that guy up and this guy over. Imagine that this is projecting through that. And so I'm going to connect those by a spline by point. And then I'm going to turn that spline by point into a reference line. Just so I can get at the reference planes of this. And what I want to do is I want to extend this line down. So I'm going to go, I'm going to make a model line just so I can see it in my final geometry. And I'm going to set the work plane of this guy right here. And now I've got basically uh, an extension line of this whole setup so that you know, everything moves together. And what this is basically going to be doing is that this is going to be projecting my start point down through my pinhole camera and then out farther onto a surface. But I want to be able to control that a little bit, so I'm going to set up a reporting parameter and I'm going to put it on that same work plane. And I'm going to do a reporting parameter from reference point to reference point and make it a reporting parameter, call it distance. And I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this proportional to it. So this guy's going to get himself another parameter. And this is uh, projection, let's call it and it's going to also be an instance. And I'm going to make projection some multiple of distance. So it's going to be distance times, let's try 
Let's try six, see how that looks. So now this length is always going to be six times the length of the reporting parameter. Looks like it's a little bit much, so let me just trim that back down. Oh, not 34, four. Okay, it seems a little bit more serious. All right, so I'm going to load that into my project, and here I've got my little pointer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, this is one of my starting points for my projection, and then there's my pinhole camera. I'm just going to walk that guy around and you'll see what these lines are doing is that they are uh, acting like projections of those points through my pinhole camera and they're going to be refocused at four times the length from my target surface to my eventual surface. You see I've got this sort of crazy array of lines and now I just need to connect them so I'm going to identify where my starting point is so it's right there and I'm going to start walking around my spline by point and this one's going to go clockwise because my other one went counterclockwise and it's a little bit hard to see where these guys are but I think I'm getting the right order and what I should have is basically an inversion and a magnification of my starting shape, which is essentially what happens with the pinhole camera. So if I go and I yank this guy around, that guy gets yanked around, and I have my shape reproduced faithfully uh, in the reverse. And that's all there is to it.